Today on Review This Thing, we're here at Camping World to take you on a complete feature review tour of the Heartland Mallard M26. This is Robbie. And this is Adrian from Review This Thing. And today we are here to take you on a tour of one of the most popular Heartland Mallard RVs out there, the Heartland Mallard M26. If you have this RV, comment below and let us know what you think about it. But if you don't have this one and you've been looking for a spacious family RV with bunks, this is a tour you're going to want to see. So come along with us as we show you the Heartland Mallard M26. This RV is just shy of 32 feet long, 11 and a half feet tall and eight feet wide. It has a dry weight of just under 6,000 pounds, a GVWR of 8,600 pounds and a hitch weight of 641 pounds. It has the wide tracks axle system with leaf spring suspension and the underbelly is forced air heated and enclosed, which should make camping in colder climates a possibility. You have two inch laminated sidewalls with Asdale composite which is lighter and won't absorb moisture. At 278 square feet, it can sleep seven to eight people. As you know, we always like to start our tours on the outside, so here we go. Up front, you have a powered tongue jack, which always makes getting hooked up a lot easier, and dual 20 pound propane tanks with auto switchover, and then right behind that, you have your battery connect and disconnect. This painted front cap also has LED lights, which is a really nice touch. Now let's move over to the back side of the RV. The first thing you'll notice is this door. Inside is that King Kong pass-through storage, and it's called King Kong storage because it has up to 67 and a half cubic feet of insulated storage. And you may feel there's some limits because the door on this side isn't that big, but the door on the other side is much bigger. And just under that are your powered stabilizing jacks. You got front and rear with the controls on this side. And right here, you have access to the six gallon water heater. Let's keep on going past this slide and back to the back where the hookups are. We have your city water connection, a black tank flush connection, cable hookup, and your 30 amp power hookup. Under that, you have your sewer outlet connection, and the Mallard M26 has a 45 gallon fresh tank and a 40 gallon gray and black water tanks. And we finish off this side with your rear leveling jack controls. Now let's move around to the rear of the M26. The first thing you'll see is this square bumper where you can have hose storage and a full size spare tire. You can also see another neat feature here is an outside shower, but you have hot and cold water and it also has this spray nozzle. So you can hook up your hose and spray down the dog or the, the landing or whatever it is you need to clean off. Like a lot of RVs these days, it is prepped for a backup camera as well as a ladder. And the ladder is really nice because it makes it very easy to get up onto the four inch thick vacuum bonded laminated fully walkable roof. And now let's head on around to the entrance side. We've seen this on a couple of other RVs. You may think it's just storage, but in fact, it is actually an outside kitchen. It of course has a small refrigerator. Over here you see some fairly decent prep space and then the griddle will actually slide right out. So you can do your bacon and eggs, pancakes right there without spilling your whole RV like bacon. And then above that prep space, you'll see an outlet here. And there is also an outlet there. Below there, you're gonna see the quick connect for the propane, which will obviously hook up to the griddle. And just past the kitchen, the next thing I wanna show you is the 14 foot power awning by Solera. It does have an LED light strip. It has easy adjust arms. So if you wanna adjust the pitch of it to run water off, or if your shade isn't right where you want it, then that's pretty easy to do without having to move the whole awning. Now, one thing that I always think is a little bit odd about these awnings, it doesn't cover the outside kitchen. So if you're out here cooking, you can have shade or you can also not get rained on, but I guess if it's raining, you just go inside and cook. Just below that power awning, you have your exterior speakers, your vent for your kitchen, and your 30,000 BTU furnace. We also have an exterior power outlet. And then over here, you also have your fresh water connection. Now, before we go inside, I wanna show you this extra large door to the King Kong storage. As you can see, there's a lot of room on this side and you should be able to fit a lot of stuff in there. At the door are these nice, large, more ride, step above aluminum tread steps and an oversized grab handle. And speaking of the extra large grab handle, let's use it to go inside. The first thing I wanna show you is this under cabinet storage. Right here by the door would make it really convenient to keep things that you need when you're outside, maybe your bug spray or stuff you wanna use when you're cooking. And then above there, you'll see this nice large pressed countertop, which is gonna give you a fair bit of space for prepping. But then there's also some extra space back here where you can put things like coffee pot, toaster. We also have a single basin drop-in stainless steel sink and this high-rise faucet. 
And then you have your three burner gas stove, which of course has the glass covers. You have your oven, as well as your vent, your light, and your microwave. Your overhead cabinet with the two doors. And then here we have two drawers that are actually pretty good sized. This is where I'd probably keep my salt, pepper, other spices. And then just right under the sink, you have another storage area, which looks like it'd be a good place for maybe your cleaning supplies, but especially a trash can. And of course, in our kitchen, we want to talk about the refrigerator. This is an eight cubic foot fridge freezer, and this is actually gas and electric. So you can use it obviously with the propane of the RV or the electric. We'll finish off the kitchen with this pantry cabinet. It does have adjustable shelves, so you have larger items, smaller items. You can keep food in here, blankets, toiletries, whatever it is. Plenty of space there for that. The next thing we come to is this double bunk space. It still leaves just a little bit of storage room under here. They do have a privacy curtain that you can pull either at night or if you're just hanging out inside and don't want to actually see the bunks. Both bunks have windows with blackout curtains, but a really cool addition is on the overhead lights of each bunk, there is a USB plug-in, so you should be able to charge your phone. We always like to try the beds out for you. Definitely wasn't hard to climb into this bottom bunk. I'm 5'10", and I've got plenty of room top and bottom to spread out. Here we go, up to the top bunk. <laughs> Sorry for all the grunting. For an old man, it sure was hard to get up here. It does take a little bit of agility. Where's the bottom? You oh, missed I missed it. it. Yeah. After climbing in the top bunk, if I were you, I'd keep a stepladder right here underneath. Now let's head into the bathroom. Now this bathroom may look a little bit small, but there's really a lot more room than you think. It is a bit odd to me that there's this big window back here in the bathroom, but who knows, maybe you like looking outside while you do your business. And it has this blackout shade that you can just pull down so to make sure nobody looks in. It does have a foot flush toilet with plenty of room around the outside. And then next we have a good sized tub and shower combo. I don't know that we've toured an RV with a tub yet, but I'm sure that some folks with kids would probably rather have a tub instead of just a shower. It does have a skylight in it. I'm 5'10 again, like I said, gives me plenty of room. And there's some fancy little shelves over here for your shampoo, conditioner, and soap. Last thing in the bathroom, there is a corner vanity with a medicine cabinet. And now we're gonna move out of the bathroom into our living area. And here's where you're gonna see the super slide. The first thing you'll notice is this nice dinette area. One thing that's pretty cool about this Heartland Mallard series is they have what they call the Selecta style. Each cushion has a lighter side and a dark side. So if you prefer the light on dark look or if you want both of them to be light and then you have the double dark look if you want to switch things up or if you get the light side dirty and you don't have time to clean it. And then we have this pretty standard removable table. If you want to sit here and eat, or work, it is actually attached to the wall. So you would have to take it out a little bit and take this table outside if you wanna have a picnic. There is, of course, storage underneath these seats, which we always love. And this dinette can be converted into a sleeper. Surprisingly enough, this dinette is actually pretty good length, which is a bit different than most of the dinette sleepers that we've seen. Now we're gonna move on to the sofa. I will tell you, the sitting cushions are kind of hard. The back cushions are pretty soft. And I'm 5'4", and you can see, like, if I sit back, my feet don't touch the floor. So if you're short, that could be a problem. And just like the dinette, the sofa is going to convert into a bed. This one's a little bit different, though. So this slides out, and then when I pull this up, you'll see a cushion underneath. That folds out like that, and then your cushion is going to sit there. There is plenty of room for me here, but there is a pretty noticeable drop off between these cushions and between those. So this may be a much better space for a child. If you do that, or if you don't plan on using this for a bed, you can leave this bottom cushion at home and use the space underneath for a lot more storage. And now let's talk about this large entertainment wall. One thing it does is creates a space between the living area and the bedroom, but it also gives you a very large place for your TV. Here you're gonna have your power, your cable and your HDMI cable. That is also connected to the entertainment center. So if you have a gaming system or something, you can plug that by HDMI. That goes straight through into your TV. Then you have this electric fireplace, so you can use that to keep you warm. It also has pretty lifelike fire if you want some ambiance. One thing I do want to point out is that this fireplace is elevated, so that is going to give you even more storage under here. 
a really good place to leave your shoes or things that you need to get to quickly that you don't want to have in the way all the time. Before we head into the bedroom, I want to point out that there's two rows of LED lights. The 13,500 BTU AC is dual ducted, so staying cool shouldn't be a problem either. You can also see on the ceiling that the Mallard M26 is prepped for Wi-Fi. And then down below, you see the faux wood floors with an easy sweep finish in the slide, so keeping everything clean shouldn't be too hard. As we head into the bedroom, you can see sliding doors on both sides, which further adds to privacy and is nice because that means you can get out of the bed on either side and not have to crawl over somebody when you're going to the bathroom. There's a huge king size mattress in here with a comfort select mattress and it really is comfortable. Plenty of room. And on each side of the bed, you have a nightstand. Underneath has a USB outlet as well as a regular outlet. Above that, you have a wardrobe cabinet so you can hang up clothes. And you'll see three different cabinet doors above the top, but it does have pass through all the way that way. And there you have our complete feature review tour of the Hartley Mallard M26. If you have any questions we didn't answer, comment below and we will try to do our best to answer them. But remember, you can always reach out to your local camping world and I'm sure they'll be happy to help. As always, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Hey, thanks for watching our Hartley Mallard M26 feature review tour video. While you're here, give us a like, share it with your friends, comment, and if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe. Also, check out our website, reviewthisingtv.com. Subscribe to our newsletter. Check out our holler store, our Amazon storefront, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok.